going on everybody? My name is Liam. Welcome back to Persona 5 Strikers. I just got lots of crap. We are about to head to the destination of the trauma room. Let's get there. This Poor is thing. where the accident happened, isn't it? Yep. If we put in the keyword here, we should be able to access the trauma cell. If I know Maybe anything about these trauma happened. cells, you sure you these wardens are, are intense. Yep, we're ready. That's right. I want to see what happened to Marisan with my own two eyes. The keyword is Snow City. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. Beginning navigation. You gotta feel bad for Haru on this. Whoa. Snow. What is this? That? It looks snow. like this is the snow festival. Looks like a whoa. Check out those two suits over there. I didn't know you were accepting rebates. <laughs> I see a career man in the making. Sir? Would you please be discreet about this? I can do that. But in return, you need to do me a favor. I want her to take full responsibility for the incident. That way, she'll resign. Once that happens, I'll be the new mayor in town. And you'll be my well-paid associate. You will cooperate, won't you? Yes. Yes, of course. Oh, it seems I've been found out. Uh, it's not what it looks like, Mayor. This is really... Mayor? Does he mean Mayor Hyoto? Then... Marisan saw this happen? I had no idea you were behind this. That anyone was behind this! Huh. You really don't get it, do you? Well, this festival is held by the city. I Meaning it comes out of the taxpayer's pocket. I figured, why not lower costs and hire cheaper construction? But what's wrong with getting compensated for it? The rest of our staff makes these deals all the time. So, what's the harm in one little mishap? That sculpture collapse was just bad luck. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I'm calling the police. Well, go ahead and do it. But I'm bringing you down with me. What? I'm gonna testify that I did it under your orders. Then you'll be ruined. Well, after all, you're the one in charge here. See, I even have the papers you signed. Right here. Such an unfortunate turn of events. Sorry to say, but you're finished, Mayor. You have counsel, aren't you? Don't you want to do the right thing? As far as I'm concerned, that's whatever's right for me. Well, are you finally ready to listen? Answer me, Mayor. Be ready. How can you blame a peon like me? We don't get paid enough for this. This <laughs> world revolves around money. Money talks, bullshit walks, Mayor. Bastard. Threatened the mayor? Is that it? I had no idea Marisan went through something like this. Something so awful. Yep. Think later, act now. We've got a real fight in our hands here. Come! Grab it, sir! I'll take the mayor down with me! Let's go! He's up to something! Can anybody Archangel, stop him? Take this! Persona! Jack Frost! Satan's Muffin! Ella Principality! Elagor! Principality! You're mine! Get 
Okay, Noir is staying. Miracle Punch! Easy, Mr. Yeah. Oh, no. Here, that combo 
Damn, Mona. <laughs>
Ah, he's almost dead. One more. Yeah. Woo. That was the first one I did without dying. <laughs> that was impressive. Well, that's all of them. We can get into the throne room now. Hopefully. Who were those guys? They were arguing with the mayor just now. One was a city employee. The other must have been a councilman. Someone higher up on the ladder. Anyway, hmm. it seems this employee accepted an illegal donation from a contractor who ended up building the sculpture. Payment for landing them the job. In other words, bribery. We don't know if the sculpture collapsed due to a structural issue or a general lack of care. The result is still the same. Either way, the councilman was in the know. Not only that, he tried using a fatal accident to take Mayor Hyodo's position. <sighs> Something along those lines. Uh, unforgivable. Everything makes sense now. Hyodo overheard this conversation by chance and found out the truth about the accident. Not only was it someone from the city, but even her own staff had blackmailed her. It's messed up! These greedy assholes only wanted money and power! Now I have a better understanding of what Hyodo must be thinking. When she found out those around her were immoral, she became determined to purge the corruption above all else. That's why she's overworking her staff and trying to push her ethics bill through. And on top of it, she's trying to manipulate the people into re-electing her. Mari-san! Well, no matter what the reason, the birdcage is finally open. Let's head back to the hideout and discuss the specifics of the calling card. That's just a good idea. Hmm. So, what do we do for the calling card? Maybe we shouldn't go overboard with it. I don't really see her as a bad person. Yeah, the real bad guy here is the one who took the bribe. No, the guy who offered the bribe in the first place is the true villain. Was it not the shoddy contractors who built the sculpture? And they deserve the most punishment. <sighs> you guys sound pretty heated. Who's to say one man's more evil than the next? You? So you were here all along. What's your angle here? Whoa, why the hostility? You guys forgot about me, didn't you? Why would you not get in contact with me? Well, uh, now that you mention it... Gramps, you completely slipped our minds. <gasps> Alright then. Maybe I'll forget to keep you from getting arrested. Okay, we're sorry. Ah, uh, forget it. So what's our situation? Now I get the picture. So that's how Mariko Hyodo became a monarch. Huh, that would explain your debate as to who was the worst of them all. What's your take on it, Gramps? My take is you kids are naive. What do you mean? It's clear that Mariko Hyodo was cornered by a pair of rotten scumbags. Tragic, I agree. But what is she doing in response? Isn't it just as wrong to change people's hearts and manipulate them? That may be true, but... Furthermore, that accident was her responsibility, being that she's the top of command. Regardless of who did what, a real leader takes the fall. But even so... It may be a bitter pill to swallow, especially for a group of justice-loving kids operating outside the law, but the real world isn't so cut and dry. And the longer you keep up this hero charade, the harder it'll bite you in the ass down the line. Take it back! We're fully aware. <sighs> ah, sorry. Might have overstepped my boundaries. No, I can understand your line of reasoning. You're saying that the world isn't neatly divided into good and evil. But that won't stop us from fighting. If we give up now, then the people who are counting on us won't have any hope left. We help people in a way no one else can. That's why the Phantom Thieves exist. I understand you all take this very seriously. Then tell me, either way the cards fall, you're not letting Hyodo get away with what she's doing, are you? Correct. We're going to stop her, Haru. 
What Mari-san is her. doing is forcing her warped intentions onto other people. And we can't let that happen, no matter what the reason. Right. We're the Phantom Thieves, and we fight for what we believe in. Yes, we're gonna stop Yodo. But we'll do it in a way that's true to us. Let's take back all those desires. I have no objections. It's decided then. Thank you. Of course. So how will we send the calling card? Maybe we could send it over with some curry to the mayor's office? What are we, a catering service? If anything, it should be ramen. Might be better to avoid closed spaces, actually. After all, she'll probably be outside prepping for the election most of the time. There's no point sending a calling card if the target doesn't see it. I wonder if we can send it somewhere on her campaign route. Like somewhere she's bound to pass by. Then how about where the Suzushino posters are? I'm sure she'll have a speech over there. Good thinking, Haru. Yeah, and if we time it with her speech, it'll be perfect. The question is, who's going to place it there? Gramps. Ah, uh, no. Not again. Seriously? Thanks in advance, Gramps. <laughs> Thank you, Gramps. <laughs> now hold on just a minute. Didn't I already pull this stunt for you in Sendai? Consider it a favor, then. Yeah, for being such a meanie earlier. Shouldn't you own up to it? There's no need to worry. We'll make the calling card for you. We'll be counting on you, Gramps. We need your help. Oh, you little weasels. <laughs> All right, fine. Fine. I'll post the damn calling card. We really do appreciate it. How'd I let them twist my arm like this? You made the deal. Whatever. If we're really doing this, it'll be early in the morning. Don't be late. Of course. Hey. So we'll make the call aware of the calling card. We well, have one shot that we only have one shot at this. Let's make sure we're prepared before we send Senkichi out. <laughs> yeah, probably uh probably a good idea. Here's what I found. Any requests? Uh, I guess not. Let's use the shop. This should be helpful. There's a sale happening. Now's a chance to shop. Nothing good. I got everything good. I practically got everything. Distant chef, reporting for duty. That stuff was really helpful last time. Let's... Shall we? Yeah. All done. Looks delicious. Restores twenty to all. Okay, yeah, these are SP though. That's what I need is SP. We should probably go out and find some onions. Huh. Should probably go get some onions. Ooh. Something along the lines of SP Big Bang Burger. They got SP stuff. Never mind, they do not. Well, I'll be right back, people. <laughs> Thank you. What a grumpy little. What will it be? Ah! Alright, I got ingredients. Hey. Oh, that's dumb. Switch that to that off. So good, 
Huh? No. Curry, huh? Oh, hey. Hey, LeBlon Curry, though. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Ramen. <laughs> What'll it be? Oh, that's cool. Thanks, a bundle. Yo! <laughs> I enjoyed ramen with Ryuji. Yeah. <laughs> ramen set. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I am fully on your side on that. No such thing. Come on in, Major Choice. Here you go. Thoughtful. I enjoyed seafood. I feel a flash of inspiration. You made your choice. Yes. Here you go. Thanks so much. Where am I at on yet? Okay, I'm at a pretty good amount. Well, let's head back to the park. Yeah, we might as well just go on ahead and send the calling card. <sighs> this should be no, we need to cook. What should we make? Ooh, what you cooking? Ooh, how much does that make? Twenty, and it replies that. Uh. LeBlanc curry and the coffee's the coffee's better when it comes to SP, but I don't have coffee beans. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Thanks. What? <laughs> yeah. All right. That's enough. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Later in the night. Uh oh. Good evening, landing crew. Okay. I'm sorry for the short notice, but can we meet up? I'd like to talk to you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I guess. So give me a minute. Yeah, we can do that. What's up? I'm sorry to call you out so late. Oh, don't worry about it. What's going on? <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about Mari-san. Oh. It's strange how I couldn't remember Mari-san until now. Even when Hasegawa-san said her name, it didn't quite occur to me who she was. But the moment she called me Haru-chan, suddenly, it felt like a lid popped open in my mind, and my memories came pouring out. I remembered all these things about my childhood, about Mari-san. How could I like? forget someone I loved so much? It happens to the best of us. I would I know. I think what happened with my father affected me more than I realized. All the times we spent together. And the moment he passed away, I must have suppressed those memories deep within my heart. Give her a hug. At Give her a hug. Point, I got used to hiding things away. And I even forgot a good friend like Mari-san. That must have been Thanks hard. Thanks for understanding. To be honest. I feel like I was running from the past again. <sighs> a long time ago, I remember tagging along with Mari-san and my father during a golfing trip. I was so happy running around that I ended up tripping and falling. 
And of course I started crying. Then all of a sudden, Mari-san came up to me and said, Stop crying and get back up. And that shocked me at first because I always thought of her as an extremely gentle person. But because I knew she was so kind, I managed to stop crying and eventually got back up. I remember thinking Mari-san would never say anything out of place. I trusted her completely. At that point, Mari-san hugged me and said, No matter how many times you fall, you can always get back up and start again. Never forget that. <sighs> can you believe it? I didn't quite understand back then, but I think I do now. There's more to good character than kindness. Being good means dealing with the bad in front of you. It means to take a stand, even when all you want to do is run away. To realize nothing will change if you keep ignoring reality. You're strong, Haru. <sighs> I have you and the Phantom Thieves to thank for that. It's too late to save my father. But it's not too late for Mari-san. This time, I can change things around. I want to tell her exactly what she told me all those years ago. Let's change her heart. Yes. Together. Thanks for hearing me out. Tomorrow, I'm going to do my absolute best. But for now, good night. Good night, Haru. It's late. I should rest up for tomorrow. Hey. Yes, Sophia? Why is Haru so upset over Mariko Hyodo? I don't have a heart, so it's hard to understand. That's fucked up. Why do people try so hard for others? I wonder if I'll ever know. Don't give up just yet. Even virtual <laughs> assistants feel down when they don't understand something. It may seem like a simple concept to you, but to me, it makes my mind go... <laughs> <laughs> Humanity's companion. I am here to learn and grow. That a girl. All right. We might as well go ahead and change the heart. Good day, everyone. Are we ready to make Sapporo a paradise's purest snow? Then remember, on election day, please vote Mariko Hiyoto. What is that? What is calling what? card? For what? It's real. What's going on? Uh oh! <laughs> Mariko Kyoto, the false empress with a frozen heart. You are a cold manipulator who treats people as tools to be discarded. We find this unforgivable and will end your reign of abuse. In fact, we will take back the desires you stole this very night. This is... Whoa. And they say they're going to steal my desires? What a bold faced lie. Those desires are mine and mine alone. As long as I'm the monarch, I won't let anyone stop me. Very I was just beginning to work up an appetite. I wonder what you'll taste like. Perhaps I should gobble you up and find out. Oh. Please no. <laughs> Please no. Why are you standing there? Take these wretched things down! Wait for us, Mari-san. It'll all be over soon. Let's go. All right. <laughs> you never see it coming.